Хе-хе, здорово. Так, ну что же, мы продолжаем. Я прокачался, видишь, на 20 уровень. Был к 17, да, стал 20. Короче, идем валим эту суку, Мэри. Она же заебала меня. Да ты чё такая пизда тупая и на Тайминги надо выдерживать. Да ты чё издеваешься? Нет, нет, не жри его. Сука, тупая. Вот ты мразь. Ну хоть я его не съел. Пусть она уйдет. Да, блядь. Сделал. 
just as you did to Sean Hampton. Rest in peace, Да блять. Подожди, погоди. Да. А -а -а. Да блять, господи! На! Так, знаешь, что я сделал? Иди нахуй, вот что я сделал. Блять, ноль патронов. Бесишь, слушай. Да иди, иди нахуй. Блять, ты заебала. На. Все, пизда тебе. И нахуй. Тварь ебаная. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know I will not play this game. Come now, doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the harbinger bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. Ну пиздец. Эх, Мэри.
А вы Мария Ачивка. Мэрия. Не, удар у нее, конечно, она, блин, вот этот зациклись какая-то. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Фу, я думал уже конец, ну не бать. Че такая короткая что? Глава четвертая приближение беды. Так. Великая охота. А, дорогой доктор Рид, надеюсь, что это письмо уже у вас. Ведь мне нужно как можно быстрее поговорить с вами. Ситуация в вест энде развивается стремительно. И я убеждена, что теперь всем нам грозит опасность. Стражи Привина начали в, Лон... начали в Лондоне Великую Охоту. И уже несколько ночей подряд они активно ищут и убивают Эконов. Блин, там, слышишь, столько много этих и так было дохуище, блядь. Недавно ко мне обратился лорд Ред Грейв, президент клуба Аскалон. Он желает немедленно видеть вас. Пожалуйста, приходите в мой особняк в любую ночь, когда вам будет удобно. Мы должны все это обсудить. К этому письму я прилагаю официально пропуск, который позволит вам преодолеть все карантинные заграждения и блокпосты. Ваш друг Леди Эшбер. Леди Эшбер. The flower is dying. It needs water. Это вот же вода. The water going. Poor water. Не, я там видел ачивка из полить по цветов. Чтобы его полить, надо что-то иметь. А у меня нету нихуя. Чем мне его, блядь, поливать? Ладно, возьмем пистолет. Потому что... Потому что как-то так вот. Выносливости. Блядь, все сыворотки у меня, сука, закончились. Бля. А -а -а. О, да. Обосраться. Все на них хуя нет у меня так. А сколько медали там? Без пятьдесят. Или две пятьсот пять. Ладно. Ага, великая охота. А, можно поехать по сосвонце. И я пойду туда наверх. Я хочу туда наверх. Не сходить туда наверх. Ой, блядь, сколько тут. Переутомление. Здорово, стабильно. Стабильно неизвестное. Так. Надеюсь, это, ну, вроде как, да, все, четыре локации будут открыты. Я сейчас здесь. Утомлен, переутомлен, переутомлен, переутомлен. Так, тоже четыре. 
5, 6, 7. 7 от переутомления. Да вы ебанутые. Так, сейчас мы со Свонси поговорим. Со Свонси. Так, давай обшарим здесь что-нибудь. Мы что найдем. О -о 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 -о. Че он там? Может теперь не болен испанкой. Ага. -а -а. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked, all right. А, вот если я его загрызу, чей это кабинет? А это все их не, блядь, ебать, обосраться. Чем мне цветок бы полить? Я без понятия вообще. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. <laughs> What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Tell me more about the violence. Jeffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewin patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stowe? Where are they? There are only a few of us. Most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. Just the Archbishop and Brother Pablo. Hmm. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the ladies' mansion. But with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Why have you never entered the ladies' house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Конечно. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. 
Speak again later. Так, давай здесь еще походим. Посмотрим, поищем. I cannot enter. Канутинта. Так, ну понеслась жара. Тут у нас приутомленные особо. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. The job that the pizdes give. Kusok the gavna. Soldier, not really. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to. Don't think you can do much about it. Goodbye for now. Street corner. It's a daily routine. Mm -hmm. a Это еще не, не она помогает тому. Ничем ты переутомлен. Unfortunately. Goodbye, Fen. I'm quite busy. Завали пасть нахуй. А у него все, блять. Do you need my assistance? Don't be. Then you are I wish. Thank you for your. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, doctor. Thank. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Do you require med? Do you? Despite well, it goodbye. Me. Good evening, me. I'm okay. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. Do you need any help? I'm afraid... You are not a... 
I have to... Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure. <laughs> Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most help. Don't take too many risks. And that is a good thing. Goodbye, Mr. Ch yes, it's locked, all right. Там, кстати, у них штучки всякие есть интересные. Да. Так. Теперь же. А, я тут всех это? Нет, еще двоих. Good evening, Milton. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Do you need any more from our just easy? I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice. издевайся надо мной у меня тебя бутылка блять мне вот эти штучки то нужны 8 ах ты блять тварь такая дробовик милтон 400 не но если его улучшить Возможно, станет еще получше. А я ему таблеток да не дам. А нет, я ему дал. Восстановление у него курят. Так, ну пойдем наверх. Ебать тут нахуй они. Невралгия, блядь, простуда, простуда, приутомление, приутомление, приутомление. Все, 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 и пизда, нахуй, старушки. Так.
Ладно, идем. Нихуя, 23-й. Ты, блядь. А, это где этот был? <coughs> Труп Джека, да? огонька огонька Чего? 432? Так дробаш Милтона намного баще то будет. Да? Это вообще нехорошо, сука. Иди нахуй. Блять, 
Мне пизда нахуй. Все. Ебать они сильные. Я хуею, как. Как так-то, блядь, мне уже брюху зачесалось. Так, все, он пройдет. Нам просто надо его захуярить. Тянулся, сука. Давай, давай, давай. Все, вот так вот, блин. Вот уебаный, блин. Это так и вообще да никак не уйти. Пизда тебе. Блять, нихуя всякой дичи понабежала. Алайка! 
так и должен здесь дойти. По 24 уровню, вы серьезно? Господи. Да где ты в жопу? Как он это бесит? гемор вообще Сразу шмаляет за меня. Двенадцатый? Че, блядь? Взором. В смысле, это чей-то шарф? Странно вообще. Странное какое-то место тут, просто тупик. дошел Блять, понял я будильник, иди нахуй. Сука, ты издеваешься, что ли? Да иди ты нахуй. Ты что? Да 
Да ты заебал. Да блять, иди нахуй. Ну прям вы его пробьешь-то, блядь. О! Ты посмотри. Иди ты нахуй. Только укусами его хорошо. Да блять, господи. Ну-ка, давай. О, а тогда что не про канала? Все, блядь, нихуя. Ебать, вот это была битва. Может ты мне свой меч отдашь? А? Или еще что? Пиздец, вот это да. Я думал, он не это. Не вывезу. Что так здесь больше нет нифига, да? <как> Вообще капец. Да ушел, я ушел. Видишь меня через машину? Иди нахуй.
Да. Господи. А -а -а! Как он даже не было... А, что он зарядил? Теневой эко. Да какой там нахуй теневой эко? Да блять, ты издеваешься что ли? Да, некоторые здесь враги меняются. Ой. Так, давай с тобой. Мы кое-что не решили с тобой. For a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. Yeah. Понятно, у каждого человека есть свой сундук закрытый, после убийства которого мы сможем его открыть. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My God! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick may mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. 
Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time, and I'm just not ready to forgive her. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? No, not now. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. And actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's Stole. Really? I've heard of them. Very capable scientists. Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but it's as promising as it is intriguing. Ah, and on that's all, right? Like, there's only two pages of me. From four. Goodbye, man. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Ah, me at даже три из четырех. Ух ты, тут появилось, смотри, что. Так, это надо пятый, да, гипноз. Шарфик. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave. Давайте 
Одни оконы поперли. Да идите вы нахуй! Сука! Я здесь же, да, появился? Чего? Да господи, блядь. Ты хмырь, ебаный. Чего такие все, блядь, злые? Рычи, блядь. Так. Нет, нет, нет. Пизд. 
todos. Создать тень самолку. Так, я сначала э, пойду узнаю, чей это шарфик. You again. How is the sanitary situation in Whitechapel? I'm not easily scared, but crazy killers and armed patrols are lurking about. My son's right about this place. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your me... There is a thing... All right. Goodbye. Fancy bar. You never... How are the current conditions? When there's more people outside at night than during the day, they... Do you need help? To be on it. I don't really. Right then. Такая мне шняга нужна. Серьезно, что я считал? Иди вы нахуй. Ну, чем не больна? Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Could this be the scarf? You lost Miss Popper. It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Chair. Chair, blade. Я сейчас не понял ни хера, как, как так? Я думал, сейчас диалог какой-то начнется. Он скажет, бля, это тупо, это пиздец как тупо. Типа откуда же я мог знать? Иди нахуй, заебали вы. Он так сияет. Знать больше горожане.
Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. жопу тогда я не знал насморк эти сопли пиздос вообще полный затупил блять пиздец Что, близ крови? It's locked. Да ты издевайся, блядь. О, тогда мне надо куда? Обратно в больницу идти? И от больницы куда-то вот сюда? Сука. там блять
Так. Все верно. Иди нахуй. The flower is dying. It needs water. Ну так возьми его, Утомление тут. Получаем до четвертого. Получаем просто колоссальную мощь. такое Такую скорость остальные здоровья, но уменьшаете объем единовременного восстановления здоровья. То есть минус восстановления, да? Пятьдесят двести пятьдесят бы двести. Лучше триста, конечно, херануть. Давай триста захерачим. Так. Две тысячи когти. Это вы ч, блядь? Жало тоже две тысячи. Прыжок саны. увеличим запас крови все в 
простуда. Ах ты, кандон сраный. Где он там же обычный, там внизу, да? Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Doc. Do you need medical advice? No, no. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? Goodbye, Mr. Так, двадцать первый уровень. Неплохо, неплохо. Либо идите по одному, либо идите нахуй. Вообще-то он, наверное, имел в виду кукольный спектакль, а не театр. Вперед, конечно, тоже иногда. Хоть не англичане, но это понимаю, 
что он имел в виду, ну, что чуть неправильно. Он сказал просто сиэтар или как там. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Нихуя тут. Так, я правильно иду? Да, вроде как я правильно иду. А, чё? Второй, четвертый. Пошли. А, ну здесь тупик. Ну, давай попробуем. Чухнуться с ними. Опа. Давай, давай, камон, камон. Все. Пиздец пришел. Причем быстро. А что тут пусто-то? А, я вышел на следующую улицу. То есть тут даже ничего не было, да? Типа переход такой. Да иди ты, мне сундук нужен. Типа здорово, я сюда это мог пройти. А, наверное, с этой стороны. Там не башило во всем. Положен в стороне, но там тоже такой своеобразный тупик. Можем, кстати, сходить посмотреть тоже. О, да не, постой, я тут уже как-то пробегал. Да, я тут пробегал, точно. Где труп женщины был. Висел на дереве. Ну. Сделать не могу. Это печально. It's locked. А, 
А, ну да, вот мы сюда наверх. Точно. За Мэри же бежали, да. Все, вспомнил. Конечно, беготня, она надоедает. Там херачево идет. Да ты охуел! Шашка ебучая. Так она и так, и так, блядь, закрыта, сука. Так, сколько там время? Время, время. Временное время. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Ну давай. Блять, была загрузка того, чтобы ты постучался. How strange this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Damn. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Yeah. My sister Mary, 
She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. Я не хотел этого. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. Dracula. I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, Please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast and make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? 
since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprive them of a powerful weapon. Should I trust Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Sure. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city Why? without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Yeah. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. <laughs> They have done nothing but impede my investigations since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. How powerful is this The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite, but we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. 
Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Will the guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. Типа спаси вампиров. Избавься от пандемии. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms mm, my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire, but most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask, was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal. But I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. <coughs> да, блядь, хватит уже пиздеть, you and I. Go to Accept their proposition and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. I shall only be a heart's beat away. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. 
Fear not. I'm used to it. Really? I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Love, love, Stella. Hava. Так, ну, на этом все. Так, все, на этом все. Это вообще куда? Ну, не так уж далеко, поэтому. Ладно, счастливо тебе, всего доброго.